So, I discovered this new game, and apparently, it's not as new as what I think it is, it's part of an entire series, but to me it's new. It's this game called Mercenaries Rebirth, Call of the Wild Links. I was debating picking up a few games, and this one just, I don't know, spoke to me, and I, I decided to throw the dice, give it a shot, and pick it up. And I'm really glad I did. I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy Tactics. The original might be what I consider the greatest game ever made. It's up there anyway. And I'm not going to say Mercenaries Rebirth is just as good, but it hits a lot of the same notes that I like. And it really touches upon some of that, like, I, I want to say PlayStation 1 battle tactics RPG uh, game that I, I really like. Like, I, I love that that style and we get a little bit from games like fire emblem and of course project triangle looks really awesome and that seems to be that same vein but it's a pretty rare style of game to find in the modern era so when i discovered it i was really happy with it um as per the actual like storyline of it it's a uh, weak uh i'm gonna be honest but i actually kind of like it and i'll be honest why <laughs> and that is because it's not a lot of empty dialogue. I, I've kind of complained about that with a lot of games here recently. That I just feel like there's a lot of games that pump full a ton of like extra banter. And extra dialogue that really isn't needed. It doesn't explore the story. doesn't explore characters. It doesn't really do anything besides expand the amount of dialogue in the game. And doesn't really uh, shed any light to anything. Or, or open any new paths if you will. And this game definitely does not do that. <laughs> um, it's pretty basic as far as, you know, character interactions. They have believable conversations, but they're very short and sweet. Now, the entire story is based upon a princess, of course, because it's that era. Um, but her father was the king. Her mother passed away. In comes the stepmom. The king and the stepmom, the new regent queen, they have a baby. And the king has said he was fine with letting the, the new baby become the king and, and ascend to the throne. But the king passes away and the queen feels like she's not sure if she trusts that. And she still thinks that the princess could be a problem. And so Princess Kara decides to leave and she escapes and, and runs away from the, the castle with like two of her friends. And they meet up with this mercenary named Urban. And the four of them decide to start, like, a mercenary group and to take jobs and to um, work their way back into finding Kira's place in the castle and her place amongst her, her family. It's a really interesting story because a lot of the characters are more complex than you might think. Like, there isn't just a, a baddie. Like, yes, there's a few characters who are obviously less than savory, but they do have a different complex side to them that isn't just I'm angry. Like, one of the missions I really liked doing was uh, you were supposed to protect this warehouse that had a lot of food in it. And you're supposed to stop the thieves from, from breaking in and stealing it. But you have this interaction with the thieves where they're like, we don't have any money. The kingdom has overtaxed us and there's no jobs and what are we supposed to do? And I really like that because it didn't just show like this dynamic of bad guys do bad things. No, it actually explored the fact that a lot of times criminals are criminals because they have to. Because they have no other option. And so I really did like that. Now as far as like your roles and, and your job systems, um, that's a little less... Um, flexible is a good word to use because you are kind of stuck with the job that the character is given like for instance irving is like your soldier tank kind of character um the princess is a i would say a white knight if you will she has healing capabilities but can also uh do pretty well in hand-to-hand -hand combat um there's a uh priest a black mage like that whole system um even an archer kind of style who uses guns and, and they expand on that as well and, and so you have all of that the only thing like i said is you don't really get to change jobs or at least where i'm at in the game i haven't been able to change jobs 
and there could be some expanded rules and things of that nature that I honestly just haven't messed around with as much because I've been pretty happy with the designated jobs that each character has. They've done really well, and I've been really more focused on the tactical side of the game. And I still have quite a ways to go, to be honest. I think I'm only maybe about halfway in. It's hard to tell because there isn't a... Um, there's not a timer on the game, so to speak. Like I've, I've been Googling it, trying to find out how long the game is, and no one has documented that. Um, which, I don't know, that on top of other things kind of makes me feel like this game is way, way overlooked. And it really shouldn't be. Again, for like 20 bucks, you get a Final Fantasy Lite, if you will. Final Fantasy Tactics Lite, I should say. Um, the graphics are, are great. The music is fine. Uh, the story, like I said, I actually, I, I prefer less dialogue, more story, if you make sense, if that makes sense, and, and that's what it does, um, but you get all of that for 20 bucks, and it's just, I don't know, it, it's kind of slept on, and to the point that I'm not like this huge super fan of the series, because as I discovered the game, played the game, I started looking into the game and realized, like, this is one in many of the series of games that they had. Now, I will say this. I've read and seen some gameplay of the other games that have been out for it. Apparently, there's a trilogy prior to this, and they don't look or play as well as this one does. I, I think they really kind of honed it in and kind of, um, you know, did a really great job with this one, as were the other ones. I'm not going to say they're bad, but I, I have read a lot of complaints about them that I, I see that they fixed in, in this new game. So, I don't know, my, my thought on it is games like this come out so rare. When you have a lesser known company bring out a game that has a style that is a lesser known style, uh, that tactical RPG is just not something that you see very often, and the price point's low. I think it's worth the purchase, to be honest. I, I've been If you like that kind of game, if you like Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy Tactics and some of those, I think it's definitely well worth your time and your money. Uh, the, the one downside I would say about this game, you don't really have an open map, uh, which I kind of don't like. Like, your home screen, if you will, your hub, is just like your list of like your inventory, your um equipment and then i'll say like battle list and you go to your battle list and that's how you progress in the story it'll have you know a battle that's in red and that's the story mode that you go through and as you play through the game you actually expand it and you open up different battles that you can go back and play through to like build up levels or work on your tactics that kind of thing but i still kind of miss the idea of an open map just to see where things are and just to see where like your world like how it's constructed you know, that's one thing I really liked about Final Fantasy Tactics was is that you could see what Ivalis looked like, like on paper. And this one, it's not really there, but that's fine. Like, everything else that this game has done, I think is really, really good, and it's definitely worth a pickup. But anyway, that's my thoughts. If you haven't tried it yet, I, I definitely suggest picking it up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, if you have played it or if you know about the series, please comment. Let me know how your feelings are on this new one. Um, anyway, guys, you have a good one. Take care.